Hey there, today I am sharing two DIY travel kits that I use inside the airplane. An amenities kit and a protection pouch kit. In my DIY amenities kit, this is not going to be an emergency packet or pouch. It is going to be a pouch of amenities that I need while I am in the airplane during a long haul flight or overseas somewhere. I pack first class amenities in a pouch even though I'm actually sitting in a middle seat way back in the back of an airplane. But I do add some travel essentials that will be helpful to you because there is room in my pouch. When we travel to Europe, I pack my own DIY amenities kit, but I also pack a kit inside a pouch that I'm going to keep in the seat back pocket while I'm on the airplane. And it is going to protect my valuables if I want to sleep all night or if I want to go to the lavatory. And I wanted to share these two kits with you. Take a listen because I'm going to share the thinking behind each item based on my experience of 17, 18 years of airline travel. I am a Houston pilot wife and with these travel benefits we have been able to fly all around the globe and I have made mistakes and learned from viewers like you tips and items that you can pack in a DIY amenity kit so that you can travel without a worry in the world. Now here are some samples of first class amenity kits that my husband has gotten throughout the years of traveling in first class periodically when there are open seats on the airplane. This is a really cool one. I want you to pay attention to the inside of the pouch. Notice how easily it is to see things inside the light colored lining pouch versus this one. So my number one tip is to choose a pouch that has a light colored fabric lining if you have the choice, because most likely the airplane is going to be dark while you're looking for something inside that DIY amenity kit. The second travel item for your DIY amenity kit is a sleep eye mask. There are cheap ones everywhere at the Dollar Tree or somewhere like that. I will link a pair down below from Amazon that are $15 because they have contoured pillows that go around your eyes and the strap on that one is adjustable. A tip is to make sure you do not have those gel sleep eye masks because those are considered a liquid and that container is bigger than 3.4 ounces and will not be allowed through security. Honestly, I do not sleep well on all night flights until I have recently bought this neck pillow. I'm gonna make a video about this because it connects to the back pillow in your airplane seat and just hold your neck up, but that's another video. <laughs> so I don't usually pack an eye mask. In an airline's first class amenity kit, you will usually receive a floss stick and a tube of toothpaste and a little travel toothbrush. I do not want to fool with this because it's going to be in my liquids bag. So I just use a teeth wipe and you just put it on your finger and you just wipe off your teeth and the smell just envelops inside all of your mouth, up through your sinuses and beyond. And that does enough for me until I get to my hotel room. When we traveled to Europe a few years ago, I did take my toothpaste out of my liquids bag and put it in my amenity kit. And then I took my toothbrush and my bottle of water to the lavatory and I poured the water on my toothbrush and brushed my teeth. You're not supposed to drink the water that is in the airplane lavatory. You can wash your hands with it, but you're not supposed to drink it. But it was just too much to think about and to put in a kit and to carry to the lavatory. So I just used the teeth wipe at my seat. When I am flying for a long haul flight or an overnight flight, I do take three items out of my liquids bag and put them in my DIY amenity kit. I take out my thick lotion that I have packed in my liquids bag because I will put a little dab on my finger and then I will wet this hand and it just kind of liquefies that body lotion that I've packed in here onto my face. So it's not like super thick lotion I'm putting onto my face, but I have such a small container that it's easy to take it out of my liquids bag and put it in that amenity kit while saving space. I also take out one of my preservative free eye drop vials because it's easy to stick in there. And then you may also want to pull out your tinted moisturizer to put on right before your landing if you need that. 
One travel hack to think about is to ask your Mary Kay gal or your Sephora or Ulta store for a free little sample of foundation makeup. It will need to go in your liquids bag, but that's something easily packable because of say, space. In my DIY amenity kit, I would usually travel with one of those packets of a couple of Advil or a couple of Tylenol. If you don't have the packets that you can get from your doctor or the grocery store, you can take something like this, but you can also just put it in a little Ziploc baggie. I also have my face wash wipe. It is not a liquid, it's completely dry. You just need to add water to it. And I cut them in half as a travel hack, but that's easy to fit down in there. These from Mary Kay have zero smell and they're not wet at all. So I can just, I don't even need to have it in my baggie. I can just put it in that amenity kit. I also keep a little container of chapstick because my Vaseline that I sometimes take, especially on a beach trip, in this little container would be considered a liquid. And that's one less thing I have to pull out of my liquids bag when I get on the airplane. They do make deodorant wipes, but those so do not work on me. And I just travel with the little store-bought travel size deodorant stick. And that just goes in my backpack and I don't need it until I get to the hotel but Amazon also sells these shout wipes. They do not count as a liquid. If I spill coffee or if somebody else spills coffee or pizza sauce or something on me. If you've watched my video, what not to wear on the airplane or wear this, not that inside the airplane, you know that I do not ever wear white jeans or a white top inside the airplane because it's the other passengers I do not trust but that shout wipe would work fine. I have spilled on my own <laughs> on a blue top that I was wearing one time in the airplane. So a shout wipe is just a smart one-time buy. Uh, I think there's a four pack I'll list below on Amazon that you can just keep forever in this pouch or your husband's DIY amenity kit. Another item that a lot of people pack in their amenity kit is a packet of Kleenexes. But to me, that takes up too much space. When I go to the lavatory, I just pull one Kleenex and then another one and put them in my pockets until I get to my hotel or my destination and I have a packet that's already in my backpack. And I also pack a few Band-Aids in my amenity kit. If you're traveling to a beach location, one hack or an idea that a viewer gave me is to pack or tie a little scarf around the handle of your suitcase or just put it in this pouch and keep it in there. And then when you are at your destination, you can wet it in the bathroom inside the airport. And that way you can put it around your neck while you're waiting for your van to show up or you can wear it inside the non-air conditioned air conditioned van, or you can wet it while you go hiking somewhere. Another item to put in your amenity kit is your own pen in case you have to fill out paperwork for the passport when you're landing in a foreign country. Another item would be to pack earplugs. And you might think, why would an airline give you earplugs in first class? And that's because of the noise of other people as well as noise from the galley of flight attendants putting away dishes, clanking around, sounds from the engine on this airplane that you don't know you didn't know in advance that it was a super loud engine those earplugs would also help if you are sitting near someone who snores <laughs> you may also want to pack a comb or a pick to go through your hair before landing my second diy kit pouch is for the airplane seat pocket this diy pouch is for monetary travel essentials so that i can sleep on the airplane or use the lavatory and not worry about somebody stealing something that is of value to me inside the airplane. Notice that this pouch is a little bit bigger than my hand because it's going to house or I'm going to pack bulkier things in here. When I'm ready to go to sleep or leave my seat, I will put my phone inside my travel pouch underneath that tray table in the seat back pocket. And then I'm also going to put my cord and my power bank that will charge my phone twice. So if my battery goes dead once, I can use this or a regular power bank, but this one for long haul flights and overseas travel, it will charge my phone twice if I need that. And the other power bank that I have that only charges my phone once is not much smaller than this. So they're similar in the size, not taking up a whole lot of extra space. I'm also going to pack my little headphones that I would attach to my cell phone because the phone jack is different than the one that the airplane would use. And so that would fit in there. The whole container would fit in there. 
Let me know what you think about putting one credit card in that pouch that's going to stay in your seat back pocket. I thought that it would save me time and just frustration of pressing my face up against the airplane seat for like right when I get on the airplane to take out that credit card and put it in here for the flight if I want to buy a snack or a food item or drink. But I'm just going to put it right back in my backpack when I'm done. Um, so let me know if you think that would be helpful to you to put your credit card in there. I'm going to be taking a break in October because we're getting a puppy and I'm thinking that's going to take up a lot of my time. Uh, so look for a travel with a dog video in the winter. But be sure to tell YouTube by clicking on the bell if you want to be notified when I update or I upload a free video every week. You can now customize that with YouTube. Be sure to let me know if you make one of these DIY amenities or travel protection pouches for the airplane. Thanks for visiting and for listening.